study. Today we will be ending our series that we started before Easter on the attributes of God. The last attribute is faithfulness. Now, the verse. I brought our friend Darcy here to help me. Hi, Darcy. Hi, Geneviève. Hi, kids. Hey, Darcy, do you mind reading today's verse? Sure, I'd love to. The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. That's from Exodus 34, 6. Hey, have you ever made a promise to someone? Like you promised your parents that you would clean your room after school and you break that promise by spending time on your iPad, tablet, playing with your toy race cars, drawing, or just doing anything but cleaning your room. Did you know that God made a lot of promises to us, his children? But that's not the stunning part. The most amazing part is that God kept every single promise and he will always keep those promises and every promise that he ever made now and forevermore. How cool is that? Hey Darcy, would you mind reading a verse of the promises that God made? Sure. One promise God made in Hebrews 13:5. He said, "Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you." Did you know faithfulness comes from a place of trust and loyalty? When we make a promise, we should be more like God and keep our promises that we make. But what happens if I fail and break my promise? When you break a promise, here's a few ways to help. First, ask God to forgive you. Second, ask the person to forgive you. Let's remember, kids, that God wants the best for us. He wants us to draw near to Him, to ask for help when we need it, to be thankful each and every day for all His blessings. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, to the earth to save us, and for your faithfulness, Lord, for keeping all of your promises. Help us this week to keep our promises that we make. Amen. Have a great week. Bye.